It's crucial to choose the ideal breed of dog for your family before adopting one. What you should know about a Golden Retriever versus American Bully is provided below. Every family wants a dog, but adopting a new pet involves more than just visiting the local shelter for strays. A tragic rehoming leaves you with sad kids and a sad dog if your family chooses a breed that isn't the appropriate fit. In order to find a breed that will thrive in your home and get along with your children, it is necessary to do some study on suitable family dogs. American Bulldogs and Golden Retrievers are two of the best dog breeds for families. Both species get along well with children and are pleasant, playful, huge dogs. The build, grooming requirements, and flexibility of a Golden Retriever and an American Bully are their main differences. Golden Retrievers have a reputation for wanting to be friends with everyone. Although they are not effective security dogs, they are devoted to their owners and adore children. Although American Bullies have a poor reputation due of how they appear, the breed is actually quite lovable and outgoing. American Bullies require less upkeep than Golden Retrievers since they have a shorter coat and require less care. The short coat, powerful body, and round face of the American Bulldog are recognized characteristics. Pit Bulls and American Bullies are two different breeds, despite the fact that they are frequently confused. American Bullies are affectionate, kind with children, loyal, obedient to their masters, and full of energy, according to breed experts, making them the perfect breed for families. Don't be fooled by their intimidating, Pit Bull-like looks. American Bullies are a breed that is safe to have around kids. Bullies in America are actually teddy bears on the inside, despite their intimidating facade. Because they have the energy to play all day and are good with children of all ages, this breed is ideal for households with many children. The American Bully has faced a bit of an uphill battle to gain appreciation as a breed in contrast to Golden Retrievers. Sometime between the 1980s and 1990s saw the creation of the American Bulldog breed. The Bully breed was developed from American Pit Bull Terriers and American Staffordshire Terriers. Additional breeds, such as the French, American, English, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and Old English Bulldog, were crossed with the Pit Bull Foundation in order to refine and Bully's appearance and temperament. Bullies have a pit bull-like appearance and a strong physique, so they haven't always been as well-known and loved as other family dogs like Golden Retrievers. Despite the breed's existence since the 1990s, the American Bully Kennel Club did not officially recognize it until 2004. The American Dog Breeders Association and the United Kennel Club did not officially recognize it until July 2013. Despite often being a little shorter than Golden Retrievers, American Bullies are considered to be huge dogs. Bullies in America can be 12 inches to 20 inches tall. They are a bit heavier than Golden Retrievers because they have more muscle. A fully developed American Bulldog should weigh between 66 and 111 pounds to be considered healthy. American Bullies are slightly more adaptable than Golden Retrievers, which only come in one size. Bullies come in four various sizes, normal, classic, pocket, and extra big, just like Bulldogs. Pit Bull Show Dogs and Companion Dogs were the two purposes for which the Standard Bully was bred. Compared to other varieties of the breed, Standard Bullies have a larger and more musculatured physique. Dogs that have been properly bred should have a powerful neck, arched shoulders, and a wider stance. Bullies in America typically stand 16 to 20 inches tall and have a lifespan of 10 to 12 years. The size and longevity of traditional American bullies are the same as those of ordinary bullies. Their physiques and muscular tones largely distinguish the two sorts. 
classic bullies are lower in weight, appear less wide, and resemble a typical American Staffordshire Terrier since they are less muscular than regular bullies. American bullies are available in lower sizes, just like bulldog breeds. Because it is bigger than other pocket breeds, the pocket bulldog is not a true pocket breed. The smallest option for an American bully is this version. Although they only reach heights of 13 to 17 inches, pocket bullies are a slightly smaller, more portable alternative to conventional bullies. This bully is an adaptation of the typical bully, except it is a little bit taller. Bullies who are extra huge are often 19 to 23 inches tall. They are slightly larger than typical bullies, but have the same proportionate size and powerful frame. Due to their affection, intelligence, loyalty, and love of play, golden retrievers are regarded as the ideal family dog. Even though they make poor guard dogs, this breed gets along well with children, strangers, and other dogs. Only households with a large yard should consider adopting a golden retriever because this breed need lots of space to run around. Your golden retriever will want frequent, lengthy walks because to their high level of activity. Golden retrievers have a considerably more straightforward history as a breed than American bullies. Scottish nobility desired hunting companion dogs, so they started breeding Golden Retrievers in the 1800s. Golden Retrievers were admired during the 1800s for both their beauty and their usefulness as gun dogs. The UK's The Kennel Club first recognized Golden Retrievers as a breed in 1911. Later, in 1925 and 1932, they received approval from the American Kennel Club and the Canadian Kennel Club, respectively. In comparison to American bullies, Golden Retrievers are taller, lighter, and less broad. Golden Retrievers are between 20 and 25 inches tall, whereas American bullies often measure between 12 and 20 inches. When fully grown and at a healthy weight, this breed weighs between 55 and 80 pounds because it has less muscle mass than bullies. How much grooming they will need is one thing to think about while choosing between an American Bully and a Golden Retriever. Golden Retrievers shed a lot more since their coats are longer. Families with Golden Retrievers are advised to brush them at least three times per week and bathe them in a dog shampoo formulated with omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. This will maintain the health of their coat and lessen shedding. Breeders and groomers frequently advise against shaving golden retrievers in homes. Shaving your goldfish will lessen shedding, but it won't make them any cooler in the summer. In fact, it can harm their coat permanently and expose their skin to diseases and sunburns. It would be a better idea to adopt an American bully if your family is unable to handle the grooming requirements of a golden retriever. Bullies only need to be brushed once a week or once every other week because of their shorter coat. They only need to be bathed once every two months or less, unless their coat is filthy. Each breed of dog is predisposed to particular health issues. It's crucial to plan ahead for any health issues that can develop as your pet ages when you adopt a new pet. Golden Retrievers are often a relatively healthy breed when compared to other breeds. These dogs may experience a few minor health issues as they get older, such as hypothyroidism, stenosis of the subaorta, a dysplastic elbow, mast cell cancer, osteosarcoma. Having a vet do testing to detect these issues early is the best approach to maintain your golden's health. Additionally, American bullies are often a highly healthy breed. Only adopt from recognized breeders if you want to make sure your bully is healthy. American bullies come in a variety of varieties, some of which are not technically acknowledged by kennel associations. Only adopt a bully that is part of a breed that is officially recognized. 
This is due to the possibility that unrecognized bullies, like exotic and micro bullies, may experience additional and preventable health issues. Here are five typical health issues that bullies should watch out for. Dysplastic hips, patella luxation, birth defect heart failure, ichthyosis, hypothyroidism, Both American Bullies and Golden Retrievers make wonderful family pets. They are kind, devoted, gentle, and excellent with children. Your family will certainly meet several neighbors who also own Golden Retrievers because they are such a common breed. Bullies in America are bred to be friendly, but despite this, they are frequently portrayed as being violent, harsh, and unsafe. Because American bullies and pit bulls have such a similar appearance and because both breeds are occasionally mistreated and used in dog fighting rings, this misunderstanding exists. The truth is that bullies in America feel quite secure among kids of all ages. The originator of this breed, the pit bull, was once referred to as a nanny dog because of how well suited they were to working with children. As a result of having acquired this disposition, bullies are renowned for being calm and patient when young children play with and climb all over them. Check your local regulations and ordinances to be sure there are no breed restrictions in place before your family gets an American bully. The limits placed on your family when adopting a Goldie will be lessened because Golden Retrievers are not thought to be aggressive.